So in another video I opened uh, six holiday packs of uh, 1972 tops and I also uh, from the same uh, Canadian seller I also bought a couple of uh, 1975s. So again um, not quite sure exactly uh, the provenance of these. Um, some would say these aren't real holiday packs because they because of some design issues. Um, I mean they're repacks of real cards um, but whether whether they're modern repacks or the uh, older uh, repacks that were sold at the time, um, that's not really clear. Uh, but I picked ones that had uh, I did pick ones that had good cards. Uh, showing so to help get a little more value out of these so uh, 75 set has some uh, has some good rookies like George Brett and others didn't get that cut well enough you gotta be careful with these one of the things is that this plastic seems rather modern uh, so there's Bobby Gritch a little bit of corner wear there. Uh, Joe Decker, Jerry Royce, and Ken Holtzman. So this has the 70, 74 highlights. This is when uh, Lou Brock, so this is for 74, when Lou Brock stole 118 bases that's still the second highest that's still the second highest total ever behind uh, Ricky Henderson stealing 130 it's got wear or bad printing or something there uh, Willie Horton uh, Dick Lang and Terry Forster so the backs of these uh, this is one where they used a portrait mode here on the back uh, more typically, the tops did did uh, landscape, but part of that is because uh, they gave somewhat limited information on the stats here for pitchers. They just give games, innings pitch, one loss, strikeouts and walks, and earned run average. <clears throat> and for uh, uh, for hitting, they just give it bats, hits, doubles, triples, homers, runs batted in, and average. Don't even don't even give runs. <clears throat> and in these cards, there's uh, only four cards in each panel. Unlike more, uh, unlike regular wax packs, which have uh, more. So uh, there's a commemorative 19, uh, 1955 most valuable players: Yogi Berra and Roy Campanella, Steve Swisher, Wilbur Wood, and Ron Hodges. Wood had a long career and in fact this is um, in the heart of his career where Wilbur had won 20 games for uh, four seasons in a row. Uh, he also lost a fair number of games. He, he pitched a lot of games. He led the league. He, he, you know we think of you know e even back in this era you think well you know a starter is never going to pitch more than about one quarter of the games of the season but, um, but Wilbur Wood did. 334, 377, 359, and 320 innings. 377 innings. That might be one of the highest total. Might might be that could be the highest uh, innings total for anybody uh, after World War II. Um, so that's a pretty impressive thing. Now here, uh, I got this one because I had two Hall of Famers on the front: uh, Lou Brock and Carl Yastrzemski. In particular, this Lou Brock card looked. Um, Looked really well centered. I'm just sliding the uh, scissors along here, <clears throat> trying to be as careful as possible. Uh, so there's the Lou Brock. Uh, the the uh, surface of the card isn't perfect. Corners. Corners on these are a little bit soft, a little bit softer than they were on the 72s. Uh, otherwise, a very well centered card. 
Cesar Cedeno, he started out his career very hot. Um, we can see here, uh, <clears throat> at this point in his career, he had a 294 career average. And remember, this is, this is in an era where uh, offense was way down. Um, offense was sort of starting to recover from the, uh, from the area around 67, 68 or so, uh, the year of the pitcher. Um, but Cedeno was really started out his career very well. Jim Holt and Chuck Dobson. So the other Hall of Famer here, we got Carl Yastrzemski. Again, corners, yeah, corners are a little bit off on these. Tim McCarver, um, print problem there. Uh, Tim McCarver may be best known to people as an announcer, but he was a very good, uh, uh, he was an, actually an out outstanding player. He had a long career as a catcher. Uh, I mean, you know, catchers, it's hard to have a super duper long career as a catcher. Uh, it's so hard on the body. Uh, but he had a very good career. Oscar Zamora and Morris Nettles. No relationship to Greg Nettles. Eric Soderholm. Rick Wise. Joe Negro and Bill Parsons. So I think the condition on these cards not as good uh, as the ones in '72. These weren't were not as expensive either. Again, no um, nothing extraordinary here. But uh, with the players on the cover, I did get uh, uh, three. I have well three. Uh, uh, sorry, two. Two Hall of Fame base cards, and then Hall of Famers on a, a couple of uh, special cards, the highlights card, and an uh, old uh, reprint of the Most Valuable Player cards there. So, uh, still not sure what to th exactly what to think of these things. Um, don't know whether I'll buy any more or not. I'm, I'll look. I know the, the seller has a lot more uh, available in, in a variety of years. <clears throat> So we'll have to see. Uh, we'll have to think about whether I want to get some more. But in any case, this is a. In any case, uh, it gives me some '75 cards, and uh, the '75 is a pretty pretty cool design. So uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.